Okay, this is another uh, moles to moles type problem. We're given an equation, some starting moles, and we want to see how many we end up with in, um, once the reaction is complete. So first thing we need to do is have a balanced equation, and we do already have one right here. One mole of SiO2 plus three moles of carbon yields one mole of SiC plus two moles of CO, carbon monoxide. So it, they ask us how many moles of carbon monoxide, CO, will be produced when 2.71 moles of carbon are reacted with SiO2. Um, let's look at what we're given and then what we want to find as a first step. Looks like we're given 2.71 moles of carbon right there. And we want to find how many moles of carbon monoxide. So moles of carbon monoxide, um, moles of carbon monoxide. So we know what we have and um, what, what we want. So let's take and solve the problem. And we'll set it up by writing what we have, 2.71 moles of carbon. And way over here, let's write what we want. We're looking for what? some moles of carbon monoxide. Well, what we need to do is set it up so we can cancel out moles of carbon and end up with moles of carbon monoxide. And what we're going to use is what's called the mole ratio from the uh, balanced equation up here. So I know I need to cancel this out, moles carbon on the bottom, and if I want moles of carbon dioxide monoxide as my uh, final answer, that needs to go on the top. And the numbers here come from the balanced equation. That's where we get our ratio. So CO has a 2 in it, in front of it, and carbon has a 3. So every 3 moles I get 2 moles of this. Now I can cancel out moles. I'll be left with this. And the way I do the math on this one is I multiply the top so what do we got? 2.71 times 2 equals divided by 3 equals 1.806. So let's say 1.81 moles of carbon monoxide. And that's my final answer. Let's see if it makes sense. If I'm going from 3 moles to 2 moles, it's getting less, not by a lot, not even, it's not even getting cut in half, but it's less. If I go from 2.71, I should end up with about 1.81 makes sense. The key here again, identify what you're given, what you want, put what you're given here, what you want here, and then use the chemical equation, the balanced chemical equation, to find your coefficients or to find your mole ratio here and uh, end up with the desired units.